Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in Photoshop CC. I'm going to show you how to stack layer effects or add multiple effects such as strokes, drop shadows to the same layer in Photoshop. Now I'm going to use a text layer today, but this will work on any graphics in Photoshop. To give you the most creative control and flexibility, the first thing you want to do is convert your layer into a smart object. So that will allow you to always go back and edit the effects and the text will always be editable so you can just swap out the text without having to touch the effects. Let me show you how to do all this. It's really easy. You just want to right click on the layer and convert to a smart object. Okay, you won't see a difference at this point, but what we want to do is add a layer style. You can do so by clicking the FX down here or just double click on the far right. That's the easiest way to do it. So just double click right here. And that'll open up the layer style panel. So anything that you see a plus next to it allows you to add multiple instances of that effect. So I can add multiple strokes, multiple inner shadows, etc. If you don't see all the effects here, if you don't see many of them, just go to this little FX here and choose show all effects. Sometimes they get hidden. Or if your thing becomes a mess from the last time you maybe added a whole bunch of strokes, you can always come here and just reset to default and it'll get things back to normal okay so to add multiple strokes and again when you add these layer styles you will see them in real time so you can get a real time preview to see what you're doing so if we want to add multiple strokes that's something common you might do this used to be a big deal and this used to be only a photo or an illustrator feature but we can zoom in here so you can see what's going on so when i add an effect here you don't see anything here because it's white but if i was to make this bigger so that i'm adding a stroke so we'll add a one point stroke here if i add another hit the plus sign now I can add another stroke. So we'll just do these really kind of bold colors so you can actually see the effects. Add another one. Or maybe we'll do a green so you can maybe see it. So I don't I only see the green. I don't really see the red, right? Well if you take this and go down a layer, you can choose these down arrows and you can actually change the order of the effects. So maybe I want the green to be a little bigger. And so now I can see the red and the green. So it's really going to be experimentation on the most part. But if you just start playing with these and again play with the stacking order you're going to get different effects you can also change the inside outside and you might see different effects with that so I definitely have fun with this there's a lot of things you can do with this I had multiple drop shadows which is you know used to be kind of a hard thing to do so if I want to add more I can simply add more and get some kind of cool effects and like they say when you're doing creative stuff just because you can doesn't mean you should I mean you're not going to want a layer style that looks like that. But if you wanted to, you could. And if you want to change it, all you need to do, since we made it a smart object, is double click on the smart object. Text layer is editable. So I can say, I love smart object. I'm going to close this out by just Xing out. It's going to ask me, do I want to save it? I'm going to say yes. And now just like that, the same effects are applied to the new layer. Use sparingly, but that is how you add multiple layer effects in Photoshop. Cheers.